There she goes. This dog is so, she's so strong and so fast. Like, even though she's tiny, she's actually not even pulling that hard this morning. Come on, this way. She's so strong and so fast, like. Uh, even though some like mostly during the winter like we both are just like man we wish we like had like a yard or something or like a patio that we can just take her out on so like ah please don't pull come here there she goes <laughs> So I just finished my um, devotional. Kind of, the camera uh, kind of cut off on me as I was reading, but um, yeah, it's actually really, really good. Um, it was just pretty much talking about like the first day, how every day is a new day, a new start, a new beginning, and um, like that's always been my mantra. Like I've never ended a day trying to like wish for the next day to come, kind of thing, but like um which i mean you have your bad days and you're just like i can't wait for this whole situation to be over but it was really encouraging because you really see how like she 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 brought to light or whatever how like each day is another opportunity to start over you know and each day god gives us is just another another day to you know whatever you didn't do that day you can do the next day so we are currently heading to church and well we have to head to the store because we forgot our tithe money we have half of it but we forgot to anyways yes so we're off to see the wizard we parked i parked next to you over there on the other side and i attempted to do something to my hair it's so frizzy but you know I just came to a conclusion a little while back that my hair is never going to look the way I want it to. So I'm just going to make it work. You want to say good morning? Hello, good morning. I guess um, this is my re-debut back to the social world. Yeah. Uh. 
So I'm making. Hold on, let me put my thing. So I am making um spaghetti for dinner. So we have to get cash back at the store so we can get our tithes. So I think I'm gonna go buy some bread rolls. And I was just telling Mike how the other day, because I cannot find my wallet, I have the little tile thing and like for some reason, it says it was left at my mom's house. So I went over there and like we went there, but it's like saying that it was last seen like almost a week ago at her house. And like, I remember being there, like I don't know, but like that's the last location like it shows up of being. Um, anyways, long story short. Uh, so I have not found my wallet and I'm just like kind of holding off like doing anything because I feel like it's gonna come up on the other side of it because like nobody swiped my card or nothing like nothing you know suspicious has happened and usually in those instances like it usually like pops up or whatever but anyways um but yeah backtrack so we're gonna get some bread rolls and in the car there um i was like looking for my wallet and the i like i was going under the seat with the flashlight and we were we went to the grocery store like a few days back and I heard something fall and I saw it on the floor and then I picked it up and then I told Mike like the next time I was like, it smells like in the car, like it smells weird. And literally the bread roll can had busted on the bottom of the seat or whatever. But yeah, that's our life. But we are heading to church. I'm gonna try to film a little bit of Sunday school cause my battery's about to die. So we'll see how much of that footage I can actually get. But all right. So we are back and we are in our classroom. We have four girls today. Say hello. Hello. They're going to be really good and they're going to listen to the lesson today, right? And this is our Sunday school teacher, Jasmine. And I wanted to show you guys his reaction because today we went to the grocery store and there was actually some weird chips and I figured we can try them today. So for one, I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. The first one is deep dish pizza. And then the last one is fried pickles with ranch. You hate pickles. I love, I love fried pickles. You love. <laughs> so we're gonna see how we like it, and we'll get you guys' reaction on it. All right, we'll come back. One first, the white one. Okay, go ahead. What is it? What do you guys think? You, you must have tried the pizza. Try the pizza one. I'm gonna try this one because I haven't tried the pizza one. So is it good? I want to eat that one. That one is better. Which that. one? The pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna try them all together. Really? I love pickles. Do you know I love fried pickles. She hates them since my mom sees when I don't know. All right. Well, my camera is about to die. You guys say bye. Bye. Before I end the video, I just kind of wanted to have like a, kind of like a real talk conversation thing. Um, like one thing, like I've always kind of like been in church, you know, all my life. And um, like one thing I pray that I never do is I always pray, Lord, like I just never want to take your presence for granted. I never want to just just take church and like take God for granted because the truth of the matter is, is one day like it's not like as time progresses, it's going to be harder, you know, as Christians to like serve and worship God like. Right now is the times that we need to give him like everything that we can. And sometimes 
I really like in the morning this morning in the service um, well this morning whenever I um, was praying with Mike I just told him I was like you know I feel really bad because I feel like I like my heart isn't 100% in it today you know I feel like I haven't given God all the time that I need because it was pretty much I told him I was like I really feel like I didn't give God my all and um, then I just told myself from that point forward in the service I'm gonna give him everything because he's just been too good to me you know in my life and I just never want to take him and take his presence for granted and you know not your all does not always mean jumping up and down and acting crazy but it's just really surrendering and really just taking a moment and saying God thank you I love you lifting your hands and worshiping him and just being in awe of him you know and you know for me like once I did that I was able to receive like a lot and this service um, today the Sunday like I feel like I really grasp hold of that like going through the motions thing and I caught myself going back into that like just trying to go through the motions and you know just go to church and just kind of have it marked off your list all your responsibilities with that but today I told God I'm just gonna really like meditate and worship him you know first and foremost <laughs> But anyways, um, so yeah, this is the end of the video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I might do it every now and then. It definitely won't be like a frequent thing, but um, I figured it was something a little different um, to do. I know most people do like a day in my life videos and it's like their daily routine and stuff. My day's not really interesting for the most part. Um, and I do want to keep this channel like related around Christ. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again next time. Bye.